It's another beautiful morning in Southern California, and I'm on my way to yoga, Ashtanga yoga. I've been doing it for about 10 years now. When I first tried it, it reminded me of a martial art. There was no talking in class, just deep breathing. Everyone does the same sequence, but we do it at our own pace, just like life. Jiu-Jitsu and yoga go hand in hand. So if you can't make close contact for some reason, or can't do Jiu-Jitsu, take a look at yoga. Move, breathe, and settle the waters of the mind, especially in turbulent times. Try it out for yourself. You'll see what I mean. In the meantime, enjoy the show. So a collar sleeve, we're both right leg lead, and I want to attack his his trail leg with my lead leg, so I gotta get that leg to step. I circle in that hopping kind of motion to get him to step, keeping my lead leg in front. Right? A lot of you guys are gonna do this when you step back. And now my attacking leg's behind me. Unless you want to attack with your left leg. So I circle, I get him to step. Now I close the distance with my trail leg, this back step, turning the weight onto the leg I'm attacking, and then Reaping that leg in that circular motion, committing to that corner. So again, circle, get him to step, back step, Ochigari. So that's what we did Monday, right? So if you weren't here, go ahead and keep working on that. But if you were, you're ready to add to it when the Ochigari doesn't work. So here, I'm coming back step. I'm trying to take him back, but I feel him leaning forward. His weight wants to go forward. So the leg that I'm driving with is just going to do a backwards hop. And I'm going to transfer, right, taking the sweep to the other side. And then I'm going to do Uchimata. So slowly we can learn it by here. Just going slow. And I'm just going to kind of hop backwards and into it until I'm able to get it. As you get better, you can hit it all in one motion. Circle. I'm looking for Uchigari. I feel him going forward. I take a big back step. Right for learning. I just want this. Chidari, I feel I'm pushing forward. I hop. Until I get it. You guys got it? Us. Yeah, let's go. One, two, three. No. So from the butterfly, we can we can create it, right? Cross collar. I like going knuckle right about the collarbone. And I can pull the sleeve and kick the knee to get his head to drop. Looping my elbow over his head as my head's gonna dive under his body. Then I release the arm and I go under the arm. I don't go over because I don't have any control of his body. He can back out easily. And under the arm, I reach as far and as high as I can up by his collar and I pull my elbows apart. And I also have to assume that if he does try to back out from here, I'm gonna bridge into him and, and squeeze and chase him. So again, that's, Dan's really good at this. He kicks the knee and gets him to post and loops and he can spin really good underneath here. Pulling the elbows apart, bridging in some. I use it a little bit more when a guy's passing and I'm trying to push and create distance and he leads with that head, I'll guide it and then go into it. So a couple ways to get into it. Once I get here, I'm pulling the elbows and I'm bridging up and into him, pulling apart. You guys got it? Yes. Let's go. One, two, three. Kick that knee. Oh, that's right. And my head drops. And we just loop it. Just loop it. Better? So same thing. Uh, the guy's passing my guard. So a couple ways I like to get it is, again, I can pass it off and go underneath. Or sometimes for me is when a guy's passing my guard and he's kind of he's getting past that point. I, look at how I have the collar in my right hand. As he starts to settle in, I'm going to go around the head and I'm going to pass it over. So I can catch it that way too. And this is when the guy blocks my head is what I'm talking about here. He's going to block my head and I can't go under. And he's got a pretty quick choke if he locks his hand, puts his shoulder into that artery right there. So it's a race now. I know he's got this option. Watch what I do with my underhand. I open the far collar up high and I slide down just enough to get my knee inside. Once my knee's in there, the power of my knee, again, it's a race. But I feel like I have a lot of power here, and I'm probably going to win that race. Maybe he tries to back out, and if he does, I can chase it and get a fresh start. We'll try to finish from my knees. 
So again, he's maybe passing and I'm cross collar and he pushes and I duck the head and he blocks mine. Or he gets past there. Sometimes this happens where he gets past and I'm underneath, I just pass it off. It doesn't have to be very tight. Again, it's a race here. Start high on the collar, open, slide my knee in. My, knee, my leg gets closest to his. And I'm pulling here and pushing. Super tight. One more time. Cross collar, he's getting past, pushing. Side, he blocks the head. Up high on the collar, sliding down. My knee goes in. And he tries to back out. There's space, maybe I go back underneath. Or I can get to my knees and get a fresh start. You guys got it? Awesome. Any questions? No, no. Let's go. One, two, three. <laughs>